Okay. <laughs> hey, everybody. Okay, Motivation Monday. And did we just catch you trying to pull your Yeah, I was. Up? I'm trying to, like, pull the fat up and get that chin that I used to have when I was, you know, just... You know I'm doing oh. a story, as you are, a couple of yeah. beauty stories that... <sighs> just a couple of shots of Botox and it raises it. But anyway, it is Motivation Monday so today. <laughs> it is Motivation Monday today, and it's and it's got a little bit of Therapy Thursday in it. But yeah. here's here's the question. So I was blogging about this, uh, the rudest man ever that I've ever have ever met, and the things that he was saying to me. And you're gonna have to read all about you it. You have I'm not to read this. It. You have to read this on her um, blog. And it made me wonder. Okay, what are the rude things, Gina? I've said, Gina, have you ever had anybody say anything rude? Oh my gosh, Tracy Cornett. Or how rude has it been, Tracy? What's the Cornette. rudest thing someone's t- told you, Tracy Cornett? Okay, okay, we have to pull back. We have to admit that by virtue of working in television, people will come up to you and say things they would never before say to you. A, because they have a familiarity with you, because they think they know you and B because flat out they may just not like you and working in sports and covering teams about which people are passionate people can get very Mm. um motivated to say certain things to you especially when said team is not doing well so like if I'm ripping a team for not playing so well their fans hate me there is a Facebook page a Facebook page called 5 Million Mavs Fans Against Gina Miller. Are you serious? I'm not kidding you. Wow. There is a Facebook page called that. Um, people joke that I have man hands on the ticket because I have big hands. It um, helps me play in basketball. You're so. tall, too. So what can you say? Unfortunate. They joke about my big feet, my big nose. Um, they joke that I am a transvestite. Oh I've, I've gotten gosh, all this, Tracy Cornett. Oh, this you is wonder cruel. why I need this therapy? This is cruel. I one time received in the mail, in the mail, a postcard that was um, that had no return address, and it said, "You are the ugliest person I have ever seen in my entire life. You are the most rat-faced person on television. How could they let you on TV? Oh no, there's only one person who's more rat-faced than you. That would be Martha Raddatz from ABC News, which oh I just don't agree word. with. I think she's gorgeous, and talented, and smart, and strong. Gina, woman. this is not healthy. <laughs> this is awful. I guess people no, think no, that no, if no. you're on TV, that you're putting yourself out there. So mm-hmm. you, so go ahead. I'm a wide open target. Just, you know. Yeah. I just don't understand. That is, cr- and okay. So how does that make you feel? Oh, I mean, it's hard. But then, but then, at the end of the day, it's almost a toughening sort of thing because really? you know you can kind of take it. I mean, I've been I've been a lot heavier and I've been a lot thinner, and you always have people come up to you and say, "Oh, you're so much prettier in person," or "Oh, yeah. you're so much bigger in person," or "Oh, you're so much <laughs> thinner in person." For mo- for me, quite frankly, most people say I'm more attractive in person because mm-hmm. the lights here aren't very flattering at yeah. all. <laughs> the lighting's real bad here. Um, I think in general, yeah. people look better in 3D in yeah. real life than they do because I I, I yeah, hear that a lot, but that. I get it in really weird ways. And you know, like, like wow, you look a lot better in person. Yes. And you're like, thanks, my job's on TV, and I'm butt ugly. Thanks. Yeah. You know, yeah. but I have to go. Okay, they didn't mean that. They it just came out awful, and maybe they didn't mean it. But <laughs> no, they, but they're trying you have to compliment you. But yeah. you do have to have an internal strength. I just don't think I would be able to sustain as. I would not be able to. I don't think my, oh, my self esteem could handle. That. It makes you tougher. And it, it makes you tougher, and now it just rolls off the back. I mean, wow. it just rolls. Although I will say, I, I told you how I was at a party, and this girl at the party said that I said something. Did I tell you this? Oh, yeah, you told me. Did this I tell you this? happened like a week ago. Yeah, you didn't tell her. A couple weeks ago, I was at a party, and I'm talking to this lady, and there is a group of four people right, right over here. And I just came, walked into the party. I was a little bit late. And the girl over here, I can hear them talking. And this girl says, she walks into the room and says, Hi, my name is Gina. I'm a sportscaster. Which anybody who knows me knows that is not anything I would do. Mm-hmm. And I don't care what people say about me. I mean, I really don't. But I'm like, don't say I, I would say something that is completely inaccurate. I mean, I would never would do never, that. You would never, ever do that. So and it, it was just a weird dynamic. Anyway, so what is some of the weird questions that you have been asked? Well, I, I think even beyond, I'll, I'll say... When you guys read my blog, you'll know someone just asked me, it said, you know, did your husband make a lot of money in the NBA? And then went on so to say, weird. so you're poor? And I, was, I just thought, oh, Lord, have mercy. And that was just the beginning yeah. of it. Um, when it comes to me personally, I haven't had that many people say anything cruel. If they did, I have already tried to block it out mm-hmm. <laughs> and not remember. When people rag on my hair, I can get a little sensitive. Oh, man. Today, yeah. my boss emailed me right at the top of the show of a newscast and said, lose the jacket, Trace. And I was like, thank oh, you for telling me yeah, that. Thank yeah. you for telling me that. I don't yeah. She's like, doesn't look good yeah, on TV. Better with this. So I was like, good to know. But um, but I, you know, we can all be sensitive and it certainly mm-hmm. depends on how it hits you. But And you know what? I think, and I think this is kind of, it brings it back to Motivation Monday because I want to kill those people with kindness. 
That's you know what, what I was going to ask you. How do you turn it around and how do you approach it? How do you dress Because it? it's the only way you can. You just have to be nice to people. Yeah. I mean, Grandma always said, I swear to God, my grandma said it's so much easier to catch flies with honey than it is with vinegar. Mm-hmm. And it just, it just, it bounces back. I mean, if you get sucked into that negative energy, and I did for a long time. I really, really did. And if you get sucked into that negative energy and you keep wondering, why did that person say something to yeah. me? Or why did they think that can way? Can drive you insane. Insane, cuckoo crazy. Yeah, and then you you're doing all go. the Botox. And then you're doing the, Yeah, but you you're know. still too susceptible to that, apparently. Think about it, Gina Miller. <laughs> As I'm looking at all the wrinkles right you know here. You funny, Tracy. though? Because I know every day you could probably have a fascinating beauty segment to bring to the table. I don't believe, and I sound Pollyanna, I, there is so much more to beauty than what... Than this. That's true, but we work in an artificial I industry. I know, but if that's you don't have hard. like a beautiful soul that spews out your mouth and out your eyes, you're not attractive. Oh, you're so right. I couldn't agree more. And so there's agree more. so much, so much to just embrace about who you are as a person. And when I, I guess I, I just don't know if I'll ever, I don't want to ever feel ugly. I mean, it's going to bug me. It's not bothering. I'm seeing more lines and all this stuff. I'm trying to do whatever I can to, you know, keep it at bay. But I'm much more, much more concerned about about in here these days and about what I'm projecting Mm -hmm. and about how much I care about people. See, I sound like the biggest goober. No, I'm with you. I'm so (laughs) concerned with being, you know, more more in tune with what's going on in the world around me and by virtue of working in news we kind of are a, a little bit you know yeah. in tune with what's going on but but beyond the sports world beyond the breaking news world I mean I, and I want to be well read and intelligent and have artful thoughtful productive conversations with people but then I look at who's advancing in our industry mm. and especially that's in sports what's bugging you. and that's what's getting well, you well you're not bugging me and I'm happy for everybody's success yeah, no, and where other people you. are going but it's it's, it's you gotta it's, open our eyes it's the yeah. it's it's it, it's not this that's going anywhere. <laughs> you know, I don't believe it. This is why I wish I could hear your thoughts, folks. <laughs> yeah, tell us what you think. What yeah. do you guys think? Would you? Okay, what's the, have you ever asked someone something and totally regretted it? I know yes. I've asked a lot of questions because I ask questions for a living and I've regretted half of them. I remember I had a weird conversation with Ricky Craven. He is now a NASCAR analyst, but he was a NASCAR driver. This was in the late 90s and I was working in Knoxville, one man banding. And I was trying to do a story on... Are NASCAR drivers athletes? And I Good asked question. him a question, and I said something to the effect of, so what kind of workout do you get when you're driving a race car? Something along those lines. I can't quite remember it specifically. And I was shooting at the same time, so I'm shooting a fo- with holding a 40-pound camera, holding a microphone, the video's blue, and it just, you know. Yeah. And I'm kind of nervous. My heart's racing. And he says, probably, you know, the same kind of workout. I mean, what did he say? Oh, bad brain. Um, he said something along the lines of, my heart races as fast as your heart is racing right now. And I stopped and I looked and I said, my heart's not racing. What do you mean? Are you not in good shape? Something along those lines. And I left oh. the interview and I had a really negative thought and just a negative impression. He got in a crash that weekend at the race and he was like out of commission for six months or so. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I, I thought gosh. I had, like, my negative energy was, was out there in the universe. I really did. And so that was, like, le- and I know. It's one of those thoughts, life-changing yes, moments. My thoughts had nothing to do with the wreck. I get this. But, right. Oh, but my But you gosh. regret that that's one of the last things spinning around his head before mm-hmm. this happened. Mm-hmm. And and now I'm realizing, and, you, and yes, a lot of this comes with age and experience, but you start to realize people have their own issues and insecurities. And if you talk, yes. touch on oh my one gosh. and don't know that that person is really uncomfortable feeling short, that person feels Tracy. like it, they're not an athlete and that's why they succeeded mm-hmm. in NASCAR because they didn't make the football team in high school or whatever it is. Yeah. And women, and when you're heavy and you finally get thin again and you still see yourself as the heavy person, oh, yeah. there's just so much many sensitivities that I just want to be I don't want to be sensitive to oh those. Tracy you are so right and, and that was a big light bulb moment for me realizing other people had their issues yes, oh. yes. so there's and much to no say idea. about yeah. kindness and yeah. that is I think been my mantra for the last at least year is like there's a you, there's a lot to be said mm-hmm. about kindness so you're so right I'm telling zip you it. all right I still want to hear your thoughts yeah we better say goodbye nine minutes Bye. in <laughs> nine minutes are you serious are you